land of the Bible, Wadi Kelt. As we visit the Wadi Kelt, we'll have cause to think about both Psalm 23 and Jesus' story of the Good Samaritan. But first, you may be wondering, where is the Wadi Kelt? Well, it's a gash in the land that heads up from Jericho to Jerusalem, or heads down from Jerusalem to Jericho, depending on which way you look at it, with a side branch to Michmash. It's one of those winding, steep-sided wadis that are cut by water into the limestone rocks of the eastern side of the Judean hills. Heading out of Jerusalem to the east from the northern side, not far past the Hebrew University, we were in the desert, dry, barren, not far still, and we turned off and arrived here at the Pratt Spring, the Nahal Pratt. Pratt Spring provides a permanent water source for the Wadi Kelt, and here we're surrounded by green and lush in the middle of the desert a little oasis as we move further down the Wadi Kelt we'll be returning to more desert-like scenery as we head down the Wadi it's winter time and there's water at the bottom and plenty of grass and other growth lush almost and a bit of an encampment because they want to pasture their flocks with this lush grass as we move down further near the monastery the wadi gets steeper and steeper and the water has cut a narrower and narrower channel at the bottom this is rugged territory It's also, as we fly over the modern road from Jerusalem to Jericho, the setting of Jesus' story of the Good Samaritan. And you can see why such territory was dangerous in ancient times. Even in modern times the road is precipitous enough. But the ancient track was much more dangerous, even without the robbers. And it provided, of course, an ideal place for the robbers to ambush their prey. Flying past the monastery, we get a sense of just how remote this region is. There are some caves that were the ancient monastery before the modern one was built. Down nearer to Jericho, the gash is deeper still. The water collects at the very bottom of this canyon that we can't get down into in the helicopter. But just look down and imagine the water flooding down. You'll find links to videos of flash floods in the Judean desert which may give you some idea of just how dangerous this kind of territory was for sheep. So the sight of these flash floods and the geography of the wadi throws light on many of the phrases in Psalm 23. And we'll be thinking of that as we make our visit to the wadi Celts. <laughs> 